everybody welcome to lincoln creek for the past month or so we've been driving in and out of lincoln creek here from our place in flint hills and it's time that we finally fully move on out here we don't even have a house out here yet or anything but there is a place that uh, we've been looking at and we are darn near close on fi finishing the paperwork i gotta go to the bank here in town and sign the documents and then it will be ours also we moved the farmers cooperative out here as well if you guys haven't caught on already this is is the final farming roleplay series of Farming Simulator 19. There will not be another one in Farming Sim 19. So if you guys enjoy these kind of videos and you want to see more of them, make sure you like and subscribe. And as you all know, if we hit 150,000 subscribers by November 22nd, I will give away 10 copies of Farming Sim 22 as we play Chicken with Traffic. But before we go anywhere and do anything, I need to pull on into Casey's here, fuel up the truck, and uh, get myself my morning coffee. Well, that was a little embarrassing. You think owning a truck for 15 years, you would realize what side the fuel cap is on hey, but man. hey uh we've all what's done your it. name i'm jake what's yours jake nice to meet you uh grant grant, <laughs> grant good to meet not, you nice to meet you is not my name my name's grant but uh <laughs> it looks like you're from uh iowa yes sir yep i actually am in the process of moving out here i've been in the process of it for about a month and a half but finally okay. fully getting out here now okay what business do you own here uh the farmers cooperative here in town opening up uh it's allied farmers cooperative allied okay i'll have to look you up you guys on the internet yeah yep yeah. you can find us online on the website okay well i'm uh new to town starting a farm here actually and uh well you're probably only co-op in town so i guess we'll do be doing business together i bet i'm sure we'll be doing plenty of business jake it was nice to meet you i better get going get fueling up here yeah, you too, man. If you ever need anything, here's my card. Just give me a call. Sounds good. All right. We'll have a good ya. one, Grant. That coming sounds pretty good. Appreciate it. Probably sounds better than the Ford. Oh, the 6 -0. She's hard to beat. She may not be reliable, but she sounds pretty dang good. Yeah, hard to beat. Also hard to fix. Have a good one. I suppose let's get on up to town, and uh, we're going to check out our co-op, and we also got to just stop by the bank here, like I said. All right, our bank visit is done. Now let's get on over here and check out our soon-to-be co-op. Ooh, there she is. Look at this. Let's hop out and take a look at this place. Looks like we got some fuel trailers, a couple buildings, plenty of equipment still out here, but a lot of equipment also missing. Looks like we got a trailer in here, and that's practically it with a bobcat on the back of her nonetheless. Got our way station here. Looks like that was retrofitted in after the fact. That's interesting. Absolutely nothing in this building, man. We're going to have to get us a lot of uh, equipment here if we're going to run a co-op. Looks like we got some uh, seed box kind of uh, uh, tenders here. Now, I this is from a modder whose name escapes me at the moment, and I do apologize. Thank you to this modder for uh, letting us use this in the series. They're really cool, and I look forward to using them. But we also got grain storage, and hydrous and fertilizer storage. We got seed, lime, all that good stuff. Overall, this uh, co-op's looking pretty good. All we need are some trucks and tractors and stuff on it. But I think what we'll do is partner with one of the local dealerships here. Now, Case is right behind us, so that might be a good one to go with. So we'll talk with Case. I think there's also a deer dealership somewhere out here. So we'll talk with them they'll as well, and uh, we'll see which one gives us the better offers. But all that time spent, we got the keys to our new house now. Well, I should say the land, at least, because we're demolishing the house to build a new one. And what we're building is actually a uh, kit house, so it'll be really, really fast to assemble. We'll have it done by the end of day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are pulling into our future home right here. Let's just pull right on in and check it out. Got a windy lot driveway, bunch of trees. Here's the old house that we're going to be taking out. Now, this old house house really isn't all that bad it could just use a little fixing up and but uh, at least that's what it looks like but you get inside and you realize it's got a lot of mold problems and a lot of foundation structural problems so we're bulldozing it and we're going to build a different one but it's got an amazing lot here big yard a lot of trees and a big old like pond i guess it's a pond really back here so i'm really excited to pick this place up and uh, i think we're going to get to work on remodeling it here like i said guys wasn't going to take us long to get the house built it was a kit house and there it is is that is a big difference the house isn't as big but i'm one person i didn't need it to be as big we've got a garage right here one car garage come on over here we've got our front door let's step inside this place is very modern and i really really love that look at this not overly large but a nice modern house got floor to ceiling windows i love floor to ceiling windows we open that one up that one's actually a door right here we got a bedroom right over here with a beautiful view once again over here we've got another bedroom 
bedroom view not quite as amazing but still nice you know it's a little bit smaller of a room and we've got a bathroom right here and this is actually pretty well done this time now we have a little just kind of toilet room and then this leads to the garage so pretty nice place overall nothing crazy huge or anything but for one guy i think it is absolutely perfect i mean it has got the it's it has got the style that i like i do love the aesthetic of this property now we've got our back patio here with the look and looking over the the pond and we can do some more landscaping and stuff to this area we just bought the place now there is one thing i'm gonna have to do and i'm a little sad to have to do it we run solar on our house here and we've got a couple trees a few trees but that one in particular probably that one there maybe this one here and that's probably about it those three trees maybe more are really blocking our view for that sunlight so we got to cut those three trees down and get them out of here now we didn't think of that before we put the solar panels on so uh now we have to retrofit and just cut down trees so it is what it is we've got the chainsaw out let's get to cutting and hope we don't make this fall on our house there we go got the first tree cut down now we're just gonna go along and delimit here so we got that limb cut off let's get this one here cut this one there we go and you guys get the idea we're gonna get these trees out of here Woo! these are some thick trees man i it just takes me a minute to cut these down we're still working on the first tree man Woo! there we go got the first one all cut up now we're gonna get the other ones and then we're gonna load them into the truck and haul them on out of here all right we're backing on in to load this first tree on up here so let's get these uh oh i don't know if i oh boy we're gonna test my strengths today here we go oh whoa, that's heavy Woo! Our truck's getting a little full there, but it's coming along pretty nicely. We've got a good majority of this tree loaded up. I need to cut these down a little bit more here. Boy, I sure hope I don't get pulled over for how reckless, recklessly I've loaded this thing up, man. <laughs> uh, I guess let's put some straps on it and see what happens, huh? Well, it dropped down. I mean, that's quite the load we've got there. That is an entire tree in the bed of our truck. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put on the four ways and we're gonna pull on out of here and we're gonna take this up to uh, town to the dump or something. Then. I don't exactly know where, but I'm sure that somewhere in town there's a place where we can get rid of these woods uh, pretty easily. So we'll just have to drive around up here and see where there might be a place to get rid of them. Well, this business here in town said that I could put them in their dumpster, so we're just lining ourselves up here, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So now that we've got that done, we gotta run a few other errands. I gotta go and get a truck, a semi-truck on lease for the co-op, and it's only temporary because we have uh, some trucks that I ordered straight out of the factory. However, they are not yet ready. So I'm going to run over here, and these guys right here actually have uh, trucks for lease, so we're going to run inside and talk to him about it. All right, we've got a truck on lease when luckily the other thing it too is it's right across from our co-op. So I'm going to just take our truck over to the co-op and then we'll walk right back over here and pick up our new semi that we're leasing. And right on into the co-op we go. Ooh, don't hit the diesel fuel now. We'll just pull right up here to the doorway, park up, and uh, let's run back over there. Whew, a little cold out today. I mean, compared to winter, it's not too bad. 47, so warm i guess it's it's fairly warm but it was 57 yesterday so a little colder than yesterday but yeah this is the truck that we've got on lease until hours get around here it is a freight liner and this thing is pretty darn nice i'm not gonna lie so we're gonna take it on over here to the co-op and uh it'll be our truck until we get our truck now i do know i have a fuel run to make for somebody and we have fuel in this trailer ready to go now i know it's not the most legit you know leaving a trailer loaded up like that but i don't have a place to store all this fuel quite yet so uh this is just what we're working with for now we're gonna run and get this guy uh filled up on fuel for his farm so let's just pull on out of the co-op up here and he's just down actually i think it's the farm right north of uh the one that we own just a little north of us so shouldn't be too far of a drive if you guys are excited for this new role play series and let me know in the comments down below what you are most excited for Ooh, wow that farm is coming together pretty nice look at that place wonder whose farm that's gonna be right up here is our turn so let's turn on that engine brake and oof i don't know if i'm gonna get slowed down in time there we go now we got her slowing down and we'll just pull right on in here and get them all fueled up and crank it right on around right about there on a 
do. We should be able to get them fueled up now. Let's hop out and open up the pump. There we go. We've got that opened up. Let's go ahead and get the pump started. Check our gauge. I think we should be good to go. Now let's uh, run over here and make sure that this is all got the shut off just so we don't spill any. All right, let's fill her up with fuel. All right, got her all filled up. Now let's just squeeze past here. Let's uh, check our valve again. Looking a little bit lighter on fuel now. That's good. That means we did put fuel in there. And let's go ahead and shut her all down. Got that job complete. Let's just uh, get our paperwork filled out here and uh, we'll hit the road. Well, we got it all inputted. Now let's get to rolling on out of here. You know what? I think we're going to stop into Grant's new place here and see if he needs any fuel before we uh, get all the way back up to the co-op here. So let's pull on in and see where he might be here. I don't know where he's at. Jake, is that you, the gas man? Yeah, Grant, we met at the gas station earlier. Yeah, I didn't know you sold gas too. Yeah, we offer energy solutions at the co-op. I uh, happen to be delivering place just south of you here, and I uh, figured I'd stop in and see if you needed any. Well, let's check the tank. Heck, it's pretty much empty. Yep. How much, uh, let's see, gas station diesel was, I think, three bucks, something like that. What do you guys charge? We're at 251 right now. 251, okay. Yeah. Well, shoot, fill her up then. All right, fill her up at 251. This thing takes, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll see what yeah. she rings up at here. Okay. Uh, do you need a backup or? Uh, I think if I just pull on forward here, I should be able to get close enough and then attach my hose and we'll get it filled up here. So. Okay. Let's do it. She's filling. Yeah, we got her filling up. Uh, we'll, it's, I got an automatic cutoff once the tank gets full and then I'll look and see how much we put into it. And, uh, I'll go to my tablet, put it in. And what it'll do is it go onto your, your co-op account. Yeah. If you just go to the allied, uh, farmer cooperative farming, allied farmers cooperative. Okay. I got it here pulled up on the phone. Count records. And then you're going to click on, uh, your account name. You're going to uh, type in your password. Hey, there it is. Okay. Uh, 2,600 units for six grand. Yep, so 2,641 gallons is what we pumped in at 251 per gallon. So that's 6,628. We better have a good yield this year. Something. Yeah, well, that that's a lot of fuel there, so it should last you quite a while. Perfect. Well, I'll get that paid here soon. All right, well, uh, if you need anything else, just let me know, but I'm going to get back to doing my runs. Okay, sounds good. Appreciate right. it, gas man. Appreciate it. You have a good one, Grant. There we go. We got that one done, and uh, I think we can return this fuel trailer back to the co-op now. All right, we've made it back to Grain Alley. I think that's what I'm going to name this road because there's a co-op on that side, co-op on this side. But we'll pull on in here and uh, drop off the trailer, and that'll be it for hauling fuel. There we go. Got that dropped off. We can get back in our truck, and I think we're going to head back over to our place. The moving truck's supposed to be in here soon, so uh, we're going to go meet that and get all moved in to our new house. Uh, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys are excited for the new roleplay series, the final roleplay series of FS19, then let me know in the comments down below. I'm personally really looking forward to this series and I hope you all are as well. But that's it for this one. So I'll see you until next time. Peace. Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching.